Investors are always on the hunt for yield, even in an up market, and the most popular place to find that income is with dividends. But as Mike Santoli tells us, it's not just the payout that investors need to pay attention to. Dividends have always been an important driver of investors' long-term stock returns. But with global interest rates so low and safe sources of yield growing scarce, dividends have become even more crucial for income-oriented investors. With central banks around the world having bought trillions in bonds to help suppress interest rates, many investors feel forced to use blue-chip stocks to earn reliable income. And such companies seem happy to oblige. The total dollar value of S&P 500 dividends is up 95 percent since 2009. This helps explain why such steady dividend payers as Coca-Cola, Waste Management and Kellogg have seen their shares hit new highs lately. Now, while demand for dividend yielding stocks might be helping to support the market in this uncertain economic environment, investors should be aware that stocks are not good outright substitutes for bonds. They can swing dramatically in value and won't stabilize a portfolio the way bonds can. And many dividend rich sectors of the market already appear richly valued, such as utilities, telecom and consumer staples. This may restrain these stocks long term appreciation potential. So if you buy a stock mainly for its dividend, it helps to be content with collecting that income alone and to be tolerant of possible downturns along the way. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Mike Santoli.